<laughs> what are some examples of women not understanding a man's body? Why are you hard like I don't even know loudly crying face? My friend, who at the time was 28 years old, thought that men tucked their dicks in between their butt cheeks while walking around. I mean I thought penises were hairy all the way down like a caterpillar for an embarrassingly long time. Was watching Ted Lasso with my wife and they made a reference to the danger of wearing khakis after peeing, and she had absolutely no idea what they were talking about. Lived with a girlfriend, the first time she saw me pee she was confused. But, it's not hard. What are you talking about? Doesn't it have to be hard for you to pee? Scrotums tilde tilde testicles tilde tilde are stretchy, my wife is obsessed with mine moving around, I'll occasionally pull on the skin a bit because of an uncomfortable configuration and she'll wince a bit. Edit. I can't get my head round the fact that balls can whack against my body during fricking but if I tap them it's agony. My first girlfriend was absolutely baffled and amused that men can just make their dicks twitch in command, she had always assumed a it's soft or hard but other than that it's not like guys have any actual control over it. Many of them seem to think erections are intentional and only happen when we want fricking. Just make it hard again. Sorry, MS. Nympho but I got a cool down. Had a girl get mad I got hard while I was sleeping, I had to pee really bad and that's just something that happens, she assumed I was dreaming about fricking other women. While I finally convinced her that no it just happens sometimes when after I peed she cried like a baby and apologized. I wish I'd ended it there, as it got much much worse. Back in college, my girlfriend said, I don't understand how you can find me so fricking -y first thing in the morning. I asked, what do you mean? Well, whenever you wake up next to me, you're so you know down there. Apparently she had no idea what morning wood was, or that it had nothing to do with her. Met this lady a while back and things got heated up, it wasn't her first time obviously but I could tell she was still quite naive but I never knew just how naive she was until she moved to give me a hand job. she grabbed my unit with such force I thought it was a hydraulic arm, I should have quietly told her to ease off but I didn't, when she started jerking, it seemed as if she was trying to start a chainsaw, she was almost lifting me off the bed by my unit, that did it for me, I went limp shortly after. Her look of disappointment was more of she thought I didn't find her attractive enough to maintain an erection. It didn't help that even after I told her to be a tad more gentle, she just couldn't seem to pull it off, I kind of like having a penis for future use so I noped out. Not a woman but another guy, in the army, who thought the sphincter was a flap of skin that made the reverberating fart sound by flapping when you passed gas, we called him assflap after that. Edit typo. My wife asked me if poop always touch my penis when I am pooping and was shocked when I said no. A girlfriend gave my sack a twist, because in her woman's magazine it said to give it a try, or using your teeth when giving a blow job. An erection is not always intentional or time place appropriate. At a certain time in my life, I was so touch starved that just getting a long and warm hug was enough for the body to start going, however, my body could not differentiate between that and someone holding onto me for comfort while crying, I was seriously going asterisk no, 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 asterisk 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 no, asterisk 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 when a friend was working through some stuff. My wife had never understood that punching a man in the nuts hurts like a mother fricker until she punched me in the nuts while we were horsing around in the kitchen. At first when I went to the floor she was laughing and saying get up woman, but 15 minutes later when I had yet to uncoil myself from the fetal position on the kitchen floor she came up to me and timidly asked, did did that really hurt? Another 5 minutes when I could breathe normally again I had to explain the mechanics of why getting a fist to the sack is extremely painful, she now knows. Having to explain to an ex that the size of the load has basically nothing to do with their performance or my enjoyment. Having an erection doesn't automatically mean a man is turned on or wants fricking. Does it always randomly pulsate or are you flexing it? You can flex it. Comma. I recently told my brother and his girlfriend about an insane lady I work with, the context was her getting pregnant by raping a guy. Bros GF. Well obviously he liked it if he was hard. Asterisk my brother and I's eyes go wide asterisk. All I could manage to steer her in the right direction was that's not quite how that works, if you rub em, they grow, that's built in. Imagine if I claimed a woman liked her own rape because she got wet or came, yikes.
A lot of women have no idea how to give hand jobs, be gripping it harder than Randy Johnson throwing a fast ball. I overheat so, so easily. Whenever we go for a hike and the temp is sub 65 foot F I get a small lecture about it's too cold and you'll freeze out there, because I only wear shorts and a light hoodie. Sweetie I will be cold for the first 10 minutes of the hike, after that I'll be sweating. I've had fricking with multiple women who not once ever touched my dick, make absolutely no attempt to get me hard or stimulate me in any way. Just take their top off and lay there expecting to be fricked. That might work at 18, but not 40. Not realizing that erections can be purely reflexive to physical stimulus, it's why some women believe men can't be raped, because a man getting hard means he wants it even if he's telling the person to stop. I've had my balls inhaled and moderately pulled away from my body once, that was 12 years ago and it still makes me nervous when they get the slightest bit of attention. Coddle them, don't abuse them. The belief that the penis is the only erogenous zone on a man. I used to think men had much more control over getting and maintaining erections than they really do. I had a friend in high school ask if the penis was a bone. It was this unexpectedly sweet and intimate moment with an ex-girlfriend who had her hand on my balls after fricking, she asked me how I can move them like that, and it prompted this conversation about how they move on their own because they need to maintain particular temperatures to create sperm and maintain their health, she seems excited about learning that while feeling them move, it was really sweet. Reminds me of a girl who tried giving me a blowjob when we were 14 and literally blew on my penis making the skin around my glands act like a balloon, I was like that's nice but this is not blow as blow a balloon. Most are aware that we are sensitive in the balls area. Most are also not aware just how much, a light tap can send us over the edge into not touching the area today zone, hell, too vigorous hand job can sometimes end up hitting the family jewels in a bad way. Speaking of, vigorous hand jobs that are just too much are well too much sometimes, we are not starting a sports car here, slow down with the burning leather. I'm a man who went into massage therapy, in the class, tilde 12 ish people, I was the only man in the class, there was one career where a student asked what do you do in case of an erection, the teacher Dedria said it's up to you, but in my opinion, a grown man should have control over his erections, you would be justified if you were uncomfortable and ended the session right there. I was so shocked at that reply from somebody in what is a medically focused field, being vastly outnumbered and risking being labeled as a bad actor, I admit I didn't speak up in defense of men. There really wasn't any winning that one. Sometime in my late teens, I read a medical journal publication with a study on men being able to detect the high fertility, ovulatory, period in women by bodily odor, but the majority of the time the men didn't consciously know that's why their attraction level increased towards some women. The study also suggested that during ovulation, a woman can actually appear more physically attractive to a man despite that attraction potentially not being there when our ovulation ends. So apparently men have a superpower, physiological beer goggles and it makes you all occasionally have one night stands with ladies that wouldn't usually tickle your pickle, I do not suggest using this as your get off my arm, woman, I'm trying to sneak out before you wake up explanation grimacing face rolling on the floor laughing. I told my husband about that study earlier in our dating status days and true to form, he responds with lemme sniff you, so of course I push him off and say he's just a squirrel in my yard trying to get a nut, we still laugh about this because he does get a lot more touchy feely during my ovulation when I'm not even aware that time is upon me rolling on the floor laughing. I can't tell you how many times women have been confused about how I can comfortably ride horses, based on the mistaken belief that your balls would be between you and the saddle, pretty wild thing to think haha. My wife thought that the only way for an erection to go down was for the penis to ejaculate, I explained that wasn't the case an instant before I realized I was making a huge mistake. I live in a nursing home because of advanced ALS. I need help to urinate into a urinal bottle, every single female staff member has pinched my willy with the bottle, some of them can't understand, even after exhaustive explanation, why I yelp with pain and can't pee when it's pinched off. To explain why it hurts, the urethra, where the urine flows through, is only lined with mucus, without this thin layer of protection, the salt from the urine will burn the walls like salt in an open wound, inside the penis, yeah, fire and agony. It takes almost no force to pinch the urethra, and when you almost pinch it, it's much worse because the mucus lining is blasted out. Some women aren't very keen on what a prostate is, 
they think the full load is there in the sack. Uncircumcised penis. I think they think uncircumcised means they have phimosis, I had an ex tell me she's never been with an uncircumcised guy and wouldn't know how to handle it, I was like WTF are you taking about, I'm uncircumcised and she was surprised, we would frick like rabbits and she gave me great head no less than a few hundred times during our relationship, it was baffling but I think this is way more common than people realize.